Okay, I'm here with Oscar Smith head basketball coach LeVar Griffin. A happy camper as his team romps to an 85-46 to win over Wakefield, the Class 5 state runner-up last year in our 11th annual VirginiaPreps.com basketball classic. Session number two, uh, Tigers moved to, I think, 16-1 now. Coach, you know your team was good going into the year. You know you have a lot of different weapons. Talented coming off a big one of her nance, but over last night, did you think you'd beat a team that was in a state championship game by 39 today? <laughs> Uh, I, actually, I didn't. Um, I just told our guys, just go out here and execute well. Um, just do the things that we've been doing all season. Um, and they did it. Um, we defended well, I think, and um, we, we, we shot the ball very well. And um, so we just did the things that I preach about every day in practice and in games. You shot it really well from deep two weeks ago in beating Benchville, a quality foe in Class 5. Tonight, 11 of 22 from three. You shoot almost 61% for the game. Um, what is the key to shooting well besides having guys that like make shots? Is it is it ball movement? Is it spacing? A little bit of everything? What's kind of the main some, emphasis? Some of everything. You know, okay. I, I tell my guys all the time, I, I don't like their shots contest. And that comes with ball movement. And um, driving and kicking, something we work on every day in practice. Um, we get a lot of shots up in practice also. So it's just more of playing within the offense and, and doing the things that can put guys in good position so we can make the open shots. Mm -hmm. It seems like from afar, and you get the chance to practice, I have practice every day with them, that Carl Chavis is a different player here on January 26th than he was November 26th when your season began. Is that true? Yeah, I, I think <laughs> at the same time, Carl just getting better every day. Okay. It, it ain't really for no particular day. He's just getting better. Um, Carl is a hard worker. You know, you should see him in practice. He works very hard. He, he, he always asks questions. Um, he just, he just a, to me, he's just a workhorse. And, um, Tonight it proved, you know, he mm -hmm. proved himself that, you know, this 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 the player that I am, and he did a good job tonight. Well, it's funny, we were having this conversation earlier with one of the coaches that lost a key player from last year's team, and uh, matter of fact, John Marshall is the big kid, Isaiah Todd, and they look better. You lose an Isaiah Chambers, who was a really good weapon, but mm -hmm. Chavis inside, 23 points, 9 of 14, four boards, four blocks, four steals. He meshes really well with this group, doesn't he, with the guards you have? Yeah, he do, and I, and I feel Carl not too much of a big man. You know, yeah. Carl can step out and make shots. He sure. can... He can do everything around the perimeter. Kind of a hybrid can, guy, right? Yeah, he can put the ball on the floor. So, Cole can basically do it all for us. And, um, and then he knew that was his job coming in this season is that he got to be the workhorse. He got to do everything for us to help us win. If someone told you the leading score for Wake for the last year's state championship game, number 34, Robert Starkey had 16.7 of 7 shooting, you probably would have thought we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Was it a matter of you saw in film he was good and just get everyone else kind of contained? What was kind of the, the defensive principles you kind of keyed in on going into this one? Well, I just told him uh, we, we just got to make sure we keep pressure on them, ball pressure, and uh, we got to make sure our hands are in the passing lane, you know. And um, most likely they will probably give it to us. Um, uh, you know, being a state some, uh, state uh, runner up, I mean, you you almost got to – you can't take them for granted. And, um, and that's what I preached about all week. And uh, we just prepared for them, and, and like I say, the outcome was good. 32 in points off turnovers, you get 15 steals. Um, what is the strength of this team right now? Is it that you have so many different ways to beat people and attack people? Is there really no glaring weakness with this group right now? Or? Well, we prepare it for each, each team. I mean, we, we can't do the exact same thing every time. But at the end of the day, it's all about chemistry. <laughs> um, I preach about, like I say, I preach about playing together. And um, we're doing a good job of that, you know. And it, it's just more like it matters who we play. We always prepare. The guys know I always get them ready for these games. But um, at the end of the day, man, these guys are together. They playing together. They don't care who score. They don't care about all of that stuff. And that, that makes it much easier for me as a coach, but also it makes it much better for them to play together and, and being able to do the things that they're doing right now. Final one, I thank you for your time. Uh, on your quest to get to VCU in March and play in the state championship where you were a few years ago, I know you're going to take it one game, one opponent at a time, mm -hmm. but how – Pivotal was it to get this one tonight with Lance and Lucy? You now have kind of a two game gap and cushion for that one seed. And I know you're the semis and finals are at scope, but getting the one seed is a big deal in Region 6A, is it not? Right. Um, we got our goals. Okay. And uh, our goals is to, to get that. And um, so we, we just, you said it, we're taking game by game, but at the same time, we know it's getting close to the end. And this is the time we want to make sure we peeping at the right time. So, you know, I'm really, really, really stressing on that a lot because, I mean, we only have, what, five games yeah. left so it's almost like now it's like this is the time where we got to make sure we have everything taken care of make sure all the things are in place so we can get because so we can get ready for these playoffs well the tigers had plenty of roar tonight at the dollar dome and i'm looking forward to seeing what's in store for them the rest of the way thank you so much and we'll see you soon thanks matt yeah.